doing fabulous on this beautiful Saturday. Wanted to film for you guys this Bollywood inspired look. Now you could also wear this look on Eve. It's very Eve appropriate. Maybe not the eyelashes. They're a little cray. But um, you can change and switch it up to your own preference. With that being said, I teamed up with Delphi's to present to you this look. They provided me this awesome pair of earrings as well as other jewelry sets that I've worn throughout the video to kind of show you different looks um, with my makeup look. So if you like what you see and you want to learn more about Dalphys, make sure you check below for contest details that they're hosting right now for you and a friend to win a free Gurti. Um, but yeah, check down below for contest details. Make sure you tag me in your pictures if you do this look. Um, my Instagram handle is down below. And other than that, if you guys like what you see, please keep watching. Mwah. Bye guys. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab Utterly Becoming by MAC. It's a paint pot, and I'm going to put it all over my lids. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some tape, and I'm going to be applying this from the edge of my eyes to the edge of my eyebrows. This will kind of keep all the eyeshadow in place and make the look really neat. Next, I'm going to be grabbing Cranberry by MAC, and I'm going to be applying... I can't speak today. Ugh, I'm going to be applying this eyeshadow on the corners of my eyes using a MAC 272 brush. Now once that's done, I'm grabbing my Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. I'm going to grab the color ES. 20 and I'm gonna apply this right in the middle of that cranberry color now if you don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette It's no biggie. You can definitely order these eyeshadows online separately by itself Now grabbing a clean Sigma E35 blending brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend away Once that's done, I just want to pack on uh, that middle color a little bit more because I feel like it got lost in the blending. So I'm just going to pack that on and then re-blend again using um, my Sigma brush. Now you can use any color for this. I'm just using a sort of white, off-white color to highlight the top underneath my eyebrows. And then I'm going right into my eyeliner. Now today I'm using my gel eyeliner. This is Inglot's eyeliner number 77. And I think I'm using a MAC eyeliner brush. I think it is number 208. And I'm using that just to line my eyes. Now once your eyeliner is done, it's time to take off that tape. Now notice how clean and like just neat the eyeliner looks. I just love using tape. Isn't that just gorgeous? Like I love the cleanliness of it. Okay, up next, it's time to grab any mascara that you have and apply a good coat on your eyes. Um, you don't have to be that crazy about it because we're going to be applying falsies anyway. And apparently I want to take a break to sing. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just putting on my falsies. These are by Ardell. I don't remember the number, but I'll put in my blog post. And I'm just applying them right on my eyes and cleaning them up. Now once that's done, it's time to finally move on to our face. So I'm starting off with Benefits Professional. Um... Uh, losing my train of thought primer and I'm gonna apply this all over my face you want to make sure you get in the nooks and the crannies in your chin beside your nose just everywhere And then we're going to go right in um, with some concealer. So I'm just using the NARS Radiant Concealer and then topping that with L'Oreal's True Match uh, Illuminator just to give me some light and prettiness. And then I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend, uh, blend both the concealer and the illuminator. Now we're moving right onto foundation. I'm using NYX um, matte foundation here, and I'm going to use my Makeup Geeks uh, foundation stippling brush. And all I'm going to do is kind of push the foundation into my skin. You don't have to use this brush, but it does a world of a difference. So I love it. Now 
Now going in with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation stick in number 355, I'm just going to do some contouring on my cheeks and blend it out. I think I use a Sephora number 56 brush to do this. And then to blend it out additionally, I'm just going in with my Damp Beauty Blender again and just kind of blending everything out there. So now I'm going in um, to my Shade Light palette and I'm going to grab the banana color and put this right under my eyes. This will prevent uh, any creasing throughout the day, especially because this is a heavier look. The chances to crease are most likely there. So using this beautiful powder will eliminate that creasing. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Eyebrow Pencil in 03 Medium Brown to fill in my brows. So once those brows are on, I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics um, flat tip brush to apply that cranberry shade um, at the bottom of my eyes again. And then I'm going to go in with, I think it was L'Oreal, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going in with L'Oreal eyeliner here and just um, putting that eyeliner in my waterline. Once that's done, I'm going in with Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara and just applying those to my bottom lashes. And now back to my face, I'm going in with Berry Amore, can you tell I love this blush or what? And applying that right on my cheekbones. And now I don't know where this clip went, but I'm going in with Becca's Opal and I'm applying this highlighter on my cheeks, the highest point down my nose, and then I'm using a MAC blending brush um, to blend everything together. And now I'm going in with my Chanel lipstick number 34. I didn't use lip liner or anything and just applying this all over my lips. watching now if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button right here right there it really really helps me a lot and I would truly 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 really appreciate it so hit that subscribe button give me a like down below if you like what you see and if you haven't watched my last video tune in right here to watch that thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon Mwah. bye guys Throughout this video, please continue to please please continue to keep watching. Please feel free to keep watching. Please continue to watch.